Hey guys and welcome to the video. This is a really random video that I decided to make. I was thinking about it for a few days. I was trying to think of what else to upload to my YouTube because I haven't uploaded for a while because, you know, I've been busy with other projects. I've got no ideas. But let's cut to the chase. I remembered this one Garfield plush that I had, this rare sort of sort of Garfield plush that I have. And I thought, you know what? I should um make a video on this. I should show I should make it known to a wider audience. So that's what I'm doing right now. See, I have this Garfield plush that's really, really particular. Now, you may notice already about it that it happens to resemble this Garfield plush that was made. This Dakin, I think that's how you pronounce it, Garfield plush that was made. It's all orange. This is how, you know, Garfield's supposed to look. But this one's very, very different compared to it. Now, how I got this one was, you know, I, I go to Value Village sometimes. I haven't been there lately, but a lot, a couple years back, I would go to Value Village a lot. And I found this one day, and I decided to get it. I didn't look it up there, but I got it because I liked it. I like Garfield. I thought, you know what, this would be, uh, this would be cool to have. So, I got this, and I tried looking it up when I got home, but I couldn't find anything about it. I could not find any white Garfield plush or any, like, promotion that gave out this plush, or anything, anything to do with this plush at all. Which is really, really weird. Now, I'm gonna pick my phone up and show you, like, the differences this one has compared to this one I have here. Now, I already posted this one on Reddit a couple years back, asking, does anyone know what this is? Because I had no idea. I, I still don't have any idea, hence why I'm making this video. And I was just getting the same answers, like, oh, it looks sunburnt, oh, it just looks like a prototype, oh, it looks like the, this, this character, so on and so forth. But that first thing, it looks sun-faded. It is not sun-faded, and I can tell you why it's not sun-faded, because when some, usually when a Garfield plush is sun-faded, it'll be like white or really beige all over, and then the bottom of it or the back of it will be still orange. But this, this all over is white. All over is white. Just all over. Not a single part of it is orange. Not even if you look closely, it is not orange anywhere. And not only that, but the fur texture is different too. It is a different material, a different fur material. Now, for the Dakin Garfield plushes, as well as a lot of other Dakin plushes released during this time. They have this specific short fur texture. Excuse my thumb, but yeah. This short fur texture. I don't know if you can really tell there, but it's much shorter than the fur that this one has. Because if you look here, see how, it, see how it moves when I brush my thumb against it? It's a lot longer than the fur that's on this one. For comparison, as you can see there, it is a lot hairier. And there's a lot of errors with this one too, such as if we compare the face shape. See, this Garfield, of course, it has like damage from over time, but it has a more consistent face shape as it would have, as a lot of the Garfield plushes would probably have, because, you know, quality control. But this one has a more, I don't know if you can tell, more lopsided face shape almost and the mouth is different too it's got it's also i think kind of hairier it feels more like this one but it's longer almost and i think it's a different i don't know if it's just an illusion but it looks like it's a different color too and another interesting detail about this one is see on the regular produced garfield plushes they got the same size whiskers on both sides of his face but this one he's got no whiskers here but he's got one like a couple really really long whiskers here which is very odd and of course he's also got like this attached what this looks actually really long yeah i just noticed that this is actually longer than it's supposed to be i thought it was just from Okay, this, yeah, look, it's, like, longer than it's supposed to be. Huh. So that has got me thinking about what this could be. 
Now, an easy assumption could be like, oh yeah, it's a bootleg. It might just be some offhand produced plush. But I don't think I don't think that's possible. Well, I kind of do, but at the same time, it's far too good quality to be uh, just something made by a bootleg company. But I don't know if that's the case because I do have bootleg Garfield merchandise, and it's a lot different quality than this. I can show you right here that this is a bootleg Garfield clip that I have right here. So you can obviously tell this is um, bootleg because first off, the quality isn't isn't very immaculate, and second, it's very very different than the actual Garfield clip that was made. I have a Christmas one; it's more resembling of Garfield than this. Meanwhile, this looks like something that Dakin could have actually produced at some point. Especially with the faceplate, or whatever you want to refer to it as, because it's the exact same faceplate, nothing different as the actually produced Garfield plushes here. And while I have nothing to back this up, I do believe that this could be a prototype of some sort. Now, this did not come with any, any tags at all, no Dakin tags or anything. As you can see, there's no tush tags, no prototype tags. Why I think this could be a prototype is, first off, the material of the fur. Now, this could have been a test fur that they could have done. Like, the test the sort of fur that they would have used in manufacturing. Like, maybe this was just the base fur before they dyed it orange at all. And I think that that could be the case. And another reason why it could be a prototype is because... Prototypes a lot of times are not very perfect in how they look. For example, if you look at the Furby baby prototypes, those are very rough compared to what was actually released. And this, for example, is also very rough looking in comparison to the actually released Garfield plushes. For example, you've got the lopsided head, the lopsided mouth. It's like a test piece, a test piece to see what they're going to go with, or what the final thing, for example, could look like when touched up. But that's just my theory, based on what I know about plushes and prototypes and whatnot. But I would really like to know any other information about this, if anybody has it, or if anybody knows someone that worked at Dakin when these were released at some point. I would really love to know what this is, because if this is actually a Dakin prototype, that would be kind of awesome. It could also go to show why the whiskers and everything are, are the way they are, because it's kind of like, it's a test piece. It's like, how how long are we going to make the whiskers or something like that? So that's why they only have it on one side, or they were testing things, probably. That's my theory. But if anyone has any information on this at all, I'd love to know, because I I haven't really researched Dakin prototypes in general, or Garfield prototypes, but a lot of prototypes of stuff like this are thrown out a lot, which is unfortunate, but I would love to know if that's what this is, because again, I've got no information on it. If anyone knows what this is, or, or has any other theories on what this could, could be, I'd love to hear. Now again, this is not sun faded. This is not, probably not a bootleg, but I'd love to know if people's theories. So I hope this kind of, it's a broader reach. Anyways, thanks for watching.